Happy weekend, team. I hope you are all getting a weekend full of rest and relaxation. Um, I hope that you're able to get outside today. It looks like a beautiful day. I went out for a short bit of time, but it's a glorious day just to get out and do things. Uh, for those of you who are tiny and light, like Amanda, make sure that you uh, bring some weights with you so you don't blow away. It's windy. It's been really windy. So I just want to first and foremost say Happy Mother's Day to all my mothers. Well, I only have one mother, but uh, to all my mothers on my team. You guys just amaze me. I'm so in awe of you. How you balance your career, you balance the need to take care of your family, and you balance the need to take care of the team, especially now in these very challenging environments where you're not only a mother, a chef, uh, a, a laundry technician, you know, you're cleaning the toilets, but you're also serving as a teacher and educating your kids because the schools are closed. So I'm just in awe of you. I'm in awe of how much you do for your families, how much you do for the team, how you kind of just balance that constant juggle. So happy Mother's Day to you. I hope it's a a great day for you filled with many, many blessings. So what do you have going on this week? Tuesday night we have our meeting. We're going to have that at 7 o'clock. We're going to have it by Zoom. Um, I'll send you another invite. I think I sent you one last week, but I'll send you another one if you don't have it. I bought everybody a bottle of champagne. We're going to have a virtual toast, so please don't um, drink the bottle of champagne before our meeting. Brandy brought up a good point. She said, well, what's going to prevent us from drinking the champagne this weekend? I'm filling it with water. You'll never know. I'll never know. You're on the honor system <laughs> for sure. So, yeah, why don't we uh, do that Tuesday night? We'll have a, a toast. I'll let you know what it's going to be. Um, please feel free to start using the front door again. The potential for interaction that I thought was going to happen doesn't seem to be the same as what's really happening. So please feel free to use the front door um, instead of the back door all the time. It will free up Tina and Simran from having to buzz you in constantly. So uh, if you would start using the front door, that would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Uh, we're going to continue the washi washi every half hour for those of out, out front. Uh, for those of you in the lab, the first thing you do when you get off break or when you walk in the door in the morning is you wash your hands. The very last thing you do before you go back to work is you wash your hands. Um, and as long as you're wearing gloves, everything's contained, so we're all good. Um, we'll get through this. We are getting through this. It feels so good to be reunited with everybody. That split that I took to mitigate the potential uh, damage for the team and the business um, was necessary, I felt. It's really good to be back together. Our patients are doing a great job adhering to the guidelines which we've set forth. They're all coming in with masks. They're all uh, maintaining distance. We have the shields up. Thank you, Simran and Gersharn. So everything that we have put into place is, is working out. I really appreciate you guys and all you do. So I think that's it. Still looking for people to do Facebook Lives, looking for two people a week. I'll take one, and if somebody else would take another one, Brandy, um, looking at you, uh, maybe maybe Wednesday, maybe Monday, I don't know, uh, whatever you can do. And gosh, um, I don't have anything else. So happy Mother's Day. Until we meet again, may you have many unexpected blessings come your way, and may you have days filled with love, peace, hope, and joy. Hope your kids make you an awesome breakfast in bed <laughs> at 11 o'clock when you really want to get up instead of 7 o'clock when they're up and want to, want to give you back breakfast in bed. <laughs> and uh, guys, just know how much I treasure every one of you.